gentlemen, what's going on? So today I want to talk about being shy. Shyness is just a bad habit. It's not a personality trait. It's not something that you were born with. It's something that we've learned and we've self-sabotaged, to be honest. Because the majority of us, when we get shy, it's because we are too worried about what other people think. We're judging ourselves based on other people's standards. And a lot of times it's just easier just to be shy and be like, yo, I'm shy, I'm not gonna participate, I'm not gonna go out, I'm not gonna talk because I don't wanna risk rejection. And gentlemen, if you do this, you're gonna miss out on so many amazing opportunities that this world has in store for you. And so today, guys, in an attempt to help you break the bad habit of shyness, I'm gonna go over six daily habits that you can do, that I do, in order to be less shy. The first daily habit that I need you to start doing today, not tomorrow, is stop labeling yourself as shy. You gotta stop giving yourself an out. Gentlemen, if you are labeling yourself in your head, you're like, yo, I'm a shy person. I'm a shy person. I'm a shy. It's an excuse. You gotta stop it. We tell ourselves that we're shy. We tell ourselves we're not gonna have a good time. We tell ourselves that nobody's gonna like us, right? Way before we even get out there and experience it, we've already determined that we're shy. And when you do this, you prevent yourself from having the permission to go out be active and actually engage and be liked. Which brings us to the second daily habit you need to do every single day, which is punch that little voice in the back of your head that's telling you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not strong enough, you're not handsome, attractive, whatever. You gotta punch it square in the face every single morning. How are you gonna do that? Simple. It all starts with giving yourself a little pep talk. I'm awesome and I am gonna kick ass today. Say it with me. I'm awesome and I I'm gonna kick ass today. One more time, I'm awesome, and I am gonna drop out for one of these. Yeah, <laughs> do you like that? Exactly. You can do that now, and then I'll proceed. You good? You good? I appreciate it. I love you. I love you. All right, so here's the deal. Every single day, what I want you to do, starting tomorrow morning, when you wake up, look yourself in the handsome face, in the eyes, in a mirror, and say the Alpha M pledge. I'm awesome, and I'm gonna kick ass today. What's happening is you are hardwiring your brain. You're recirculating all the negativity. For years, all that negativity, all those negative little seeds have been planted in your head, and now you believe that you're a shy individual, that you're not accomplished, that you can't do incredible things. But if you start hardwiring, rewiring, pressing the hard reset button on your brain, it starts with you actually acknowledging the fact that you are awesome, which you are, and you are gonna kick ass today, gentlemen. Every single day, three times in the morning, I want you saying the Alpha M awesomeness, I'm not shy pledge. I'm awesome, and I am gonna kick ass today. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, right? But sometimes you gotta be a little crazy. Sometimes you gotta do things that feel a little bit weird in order for you to get out of your own way. Gentlemen, the third thing I want you to do every single day, a habit in order to stop being shy is face your shyness head on. For me, my shyness is like at its peak when I'm around or I know that I'm gonna be around like really smart people or people that are super successful. Worry that these people are gonna think I'm dumb or not successful enough or Whatever, and it's my, own, it's my own fault, right? Because I've gotten in my head and I've told myself that I'm not smart enough. I've told myself that I'm not successful enough. So what I've had to do for myself is push through it. I've had to face these feelings and these situations head on. And what I've come to realize that the more I do it, the more I'm around these like really smart people and the more I sort of allow myself to interact and talk and get out of my shell, the more comfortable I become and the less shy I actually become the next time. So gentlemen, it is critical that when you're feeling shy, identify those situations and embrace them. Face them head on. You gotta go after it, gentlemen, because until you do that, you're always gonna run. You're not gonna feel comfortable. You're going to be afraid to engage. You're gonna be afraid to go and talk to that pretty girl or whatever it may be. The truth is that you are freaking awesome, which brings us to the fourth, da fourth daily habit that you need to do every single day. Remember the things that you are great at. Truth is, gentlemen, you have certain abilities and skills that I don't have, and I've got some that you don't have, and your buddy and your weird Uncle Barry 
We all do something incredibly well. You've got to embrace it and you've got to nurture it and build it. Now the trick is finding out what those things are. It's about uncovering the things that you're passionate about and good at and embracing them. And that is one of the reasons why I absolutely love today's video sponsor Skillshare so much. It has helped me identify things that I'm even better than I realized I was. One of the reasons why I personally love Skillshare so much is that it is an online learning platform with thousands of classes. They've got classes that are super engaging and allow you to explore your curiosity and creativity, not to mention expand your career. They've got classes in design, photography, marketing, entrepreneurship. You never know when you're gonna take a class that's like, oh my gosh, I never knew that I was so good or so interested in photography or creative writing. The incredible thing is that when you have premium membership guys you have unlimited access unlimited learning to all the classes that Skillshare has there's one class in particular that I recently took this month that I absolutely love it's called storytelling for leaders how to craft stories that matter by Keith Yamashita it's a 21 minute class that is absolutely killer and packed full of information to help you tell a better story which is actually something that I realized that I'm good at I didn't know this but I've come to realize that I have the ability to communicate fairly well, but it's not something that I've always had. It's not something I was born with. It's something that I've developed and something that I've worked on. There's another class by Simon Sinek. Guys, if you have not taken this class by now, I need to punch you in the face. Presentation Essentials, how to share ideas that inspire action. It's about inspiring action. And if you're shy, guys, this is one of the things that you can work on and develop. Telling a better story, inspiring action. guys. There's a link down below to grab two months of premium Skillshare absolutely free. Regular Skillshare membership is less than $10 a month for unlimited learning, unlimited amazingness, unlimited you kicking ass and learning what you are amazing at. The fifth daily habit that each and every one of you needs to do starting like yesterday is work out. Now, I know that you're like, yo, Alpha, if I have to hear you tell me to work out anymore, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Here's the deal. The reason why I am constantly encouraging you to take care of yourself physically is because working out does this weird thing with your brain. The more you exercise, the more you push your body physically, the stronger your mind gets. And when you strengthen your mind, guys, everything in your life gets better, including your ability to go and interact, including the ability to go up and talk to somebody and not feel so super freaking awkward. The other beautiful thing about working out is that a gym is an incredible place to go and be social, talk to people, be around people. And and just being immersed around a bunch of people, gentlemen, will help you overcome your shyness. Sixth thing, daily habit that will help you be less shy is compliment people more often. What happens when somebody gives you a compliment? Exactly, right? You're like, yo, I love this person. They're amazing. You want to talk to them a little bit more because you like them automatically and instantaneously. Same thing happens when you give the compliments. You become a freaking social ninja, right? Chopping through awkward situations because everybody likes to get a compliment. Gentlemen, it's one of the easiest and simplest things you can do to help you feel better about yourself, help you feel better in social situations and less shy. Gentlemen, the truth is this, you are amazing. And when I mean amazing, I mean amazing. There's nobody better. So stop being all super shy. They're going to love you. You just got to get yourself out there, feel uncomfortable and deal with the shyness. Punch that little voice in the back of your head that's telling you you can't, you shouldn't, you won't. Gentlemen, you are amazing. Period. I believe it. The next person that has to is you. Don't be shy. You got no reason because you are amazing.